This is Dazzler. Down goes You have a conventional oh. fighter, and there is Canelo. In the fight, he's never going to give up. But his legs are not there this time. When he knocks people out, there's a real sweet science behind it. When you slow it down and see exactly what Canelo Alvarez does to get the knockout, it's pretty spectacular. In all my years of boxing, I've never seen this. The setup to knock people out is, is phenomenal. And on this video, I'm gonna break it down for you. Slow the knockouts down, and then I'm gonna show you on here exactly what he does. The thing in behind these knockouts, because Canelo is not just one step ahead of his opponent, he's often two steps or three steps ahead of them, so he can get his opponent to do exactly what he wants them to do, so he can land that big power shot to finish the fight. And also with Canelo Alvarez, he's Punch variation is, is like no one I've ever seen. And you're gonna see this on here because with him throwing every single punch with both hands, that's what confuses their opponents to be able to land these killer punches. And the last knuckle that I break down on here is very brutal, but it's pretty spectacular. So make sure you watch till the end for that one. But before we get into it, if you're new here, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing education, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, how to get better reactions, all of that good stuff. So if you're into boxing and you want to learn how to get better better at boxing, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification for more videos like this. Okay, let's get into it. One of those judgment calls for the referee. So as you're seeing there, Canelo's walking forward with that high guard, waiting for his taller opponent to stop punching, and then when he gets his feet inside, that's when he throws this brutal six punch combination. And it is a hook, cross, Hook to the body, cross, two hooks to the body. And it looks like this a little bit faster. Bah, 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 bah. Ooh, and with that variation there, think about it, he's through that hook, comes straight in with that cross, and from there, he's went to the body. The guy's arms have come down, he's went back to the head, he's hurt him, and then he's finished with two hooks to the body that hits him on the head when he's down there. Now watch this again. The hook to the head, the cross, the hook to the body, the another cross to the head, but as he's swung out across to the head, he's blasting them other two hooks in, down, and he's hitting the guy in the head, and that's how we finished him off. And there's that punch variation right there, what I thought about. You know, head, body, hooks, everything, and that's a hard combination to practice. I mean, does he even practice these combinations? Because who throws a combination like that when you're on the heavy back? <laughs> Oh, it's hard, it's hard, but he does it because his timing's great. Let's move on to number five. Like that. Yeah, there's not much he can do. That was a headshot down no he goes to the body and that should do it. It's over. So that might have looked pretty simple, but it's not. Super advanced what Canelo just did there. And when we slow, slow it down and we look at it, it, it's pretty fascinating because he threw that lead uppercut, yes, and then whipped in the body shot. But before he threw that lead uppercut, he made Phelan think that he was going to throw a hook to the body because he dipped to throw the hook to the body. Now Phelan is anticipating, expecting that body shot as his hands come in. Now he's getting hit with a headshot with a surprised. If you get hit to the head, what are you going to do? Hands come up, then whipping in that body shot. It was fantastic. Watch it here in slow motion. Now if you see there, look, Phelan thinks he's going for the body shot, but he's not. Surprise him with all the cut to the head, whoom, whips in that body shot. And yeah, a fantastic knockout finish for Canelo Alvarez. Moving on to number four with Austin Trout. Here it is. Knockout. Austin Trout, 26 and 0, 14. There's a big right hand that drops Trout. Now anyone just thinks, oh, well, what was that? That was just a straight right hand. You know, he caught him with a good shot, but I want to break it down even more because it wasn't just a straight right hand. It was a perfect straight right hand, but the setup, he feigns the jab. Austin Trout thinks he's going to get hit with a jab. He thinks the jab's coming, but he doesn't. Canelo steps to the side as he's thrown that right hand. And if we freeze frame that punch right now, look at this. Look, you can see right there, Canelo's perfect form. He's fully extended the right hand. He's turning his hips, his foot's off the ground. He's landing bang on the button, punching through the target, hitting him straight on the chin. That right there is a perfect right hand, but reversing. Let's go into the setup. If you see this feint, watch, he, he kind of puts the jab out there, feints out there, boom, whips in that right hand. Kind of like this. He's here, 
boom, whoa. Oh, bullet was a lot better than that one. Yeah, perfect. And that setup was everything for this knockout. Now moving on to number three, when Canelo stepped up to a light heavyweight against Kovalev. Everyone thought he was, what's he doing? Why is he stepping up this weight category? And did he not knock out Kovalev? Wow, here it is. Like Canelo, Sergio, I'm always waiting for fifth gear. I think I'm still waiting for fourth gear. Canelo, Canelo's not right even hand. having to move his head because Kovalev's not even committing to the... Yeah. There it is. Kovalev's hurt. Kovalev's down. Kovalev's out. It's over. And Canelo's doing what he does with that high guard, walking forward with that defense, which is very hard to do, walk forward with a high guard defending punches. And he's doing that. He's getting his feet close. He waits for Kovalev to stop moving back. And that's when he does the damage and throws them punches. Then Canelo blasts that left hook around the side. Then the right hook. Think about that. K Kovalev's hands is here. They come around the side of them hands. Then what Kovalev tries to do, because he's getting a little bit hurt, he tries to hold on. Now this is the magic here, what Canelo does. As soon as Kovalev's hand comes from his face to try and hold on, whoop, that short right hand hits him hard, bang on the button and hurts him. Then Kovalev's hurt. Canelo feints that left hook to the body and then he comes over, boom, with a big left hook to the head. The fight would have been stopped there if the referee could get in fast enough. But Canelo then follows up with a big right hand and finishes off the fight. What a spectacular knockout. Let's see that one again. Like Canelo, Sergio, I'm always waiting for fifth gear. I think I'm still waiting for fourth gear. Canelo, Canelo's not right even hand. having to move his head because Kovalev's not even committing to the... There it is! Kovalev's hurt! Kovalev's down! Kovalev... Okay, now moving on to a brutal knockout. I want to stop the video right there to ask you this question. Are you a meal? Or have you got a meal in your life that you might want to buy a gift for? It could be your dad, your brother, your brother-in-law, your best friend, or even your son. Well, if he's old enough for this. Well, if so, listen to this. This is fantastic. This is a company that I've loved for a long time and I've just started to work with and it's called Manscaped. It's a meal grooming product specialising in keeping your balls hygienic. Yeah, you might laugh, but it's true. They've got this shaver. This is the Lawnmower 4.0 with its skin safe, replaceable ceramic blades. It's waterproof, it's wireless, it's light and it's got a light as well. So when you are down there and you're shaving, getting in them hard to reach places, you can see exactly where you're shaving. Also my favorite thing, the ball deodorizer. We all know that us fighters need to be staying fresh because we'll get sweaty everywhere, especially our balls. And this right here will keep you not only clean, and smelling fresh, but very hygienic as well. This makes you look good, this makes you smell good. And what they're doing, if you go to manscaped.com forward slash boxing, my link is below, you're gonna get 20% off. There's a 30 day money back guarantee on this as well. It's an absolute game changer, I love it. They've got different packages on there. My favorite is the performance package. Click the link below, go to manscaped.com forward slash boxing, get 20% off and you will thank me later. And so will your partner as well. Oh, also I nearly forgot what's involved with the performance package 4.0 is this travel bag and also these guys. Make sure you click the link below and check it out. And number two against a good friend of mine, Amir Khan, which was very hard for me to watch this when I watched it live. Here it is. Great mentality. Now he's in there with Amir Khan, who is a multiple world champion, an Olympic silver medalist. And he's getting Amir Khan to believe he's faints. That's how good Canelo Alvarez's faints is. And what he did the rounds before this, he was setting up this knockout by throwing that jab to the body. Throwing that jab to the body. Amir Khan is now believing this jab to the body because he's getting caught with it. Then in this round, fainting that jab to the body, Amir Khan's hands come forward. As they come forward, leaves him open for that overhand right. Hits him perfect on the chin. And it looks something like this. <laughs> Oof. But Canelo's was a lot better. Now moving on to number one. This one is brutal and when I break this one down, you're going to know just how good Canelo Alvarez really is. As you've seen here and you've seen on the other clips, Canelo's punch variation is, is phenomenal. His opponents do not know what's coming. And the reason they don't know what's coming is because of the setups, the feints, 
the constant jabbing of the body, jabbing to the head, right hand hook, like every single punch in the book, he throws these punches. Now when you're in with someone who is throwing every punch in the book, you've got no idea what they're gonna throw, especially when they're as fast and as powerful as him. It's horrible, it's horrible being in there with someone like Canelo Alvarez. If Kirkland can get up, he's going to fight. He's always gonna to wanna to fight. He's never gonna give up. But his legs are not there. This time, I don't think he's getting up. So he feints the jab of the body. Kirkland doesn't know what's coming. He's putting that front foot pressure on. He throws a big left hook, misses, but he follows up with that ball shot to the body. Then a cross. Them are three separate punches right there. It's not a three punch combination, three separate punches. Variation is amazing. Kirkland doesn't know what's coming. Then Canelo puts out the jab of the body. Kirkland thinks it's going to be a jab of the body. Puts his hands down. Boom! The perfect right hook to the chin. Look at that. How fast does Canelo think in the ring? Them split seconds is everything. So he threw them three separate punches. Bam! 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 Move them forward. Poor Kirkland hasn't got a clue what's coming. Feel in the body, then boom, boom, it's good night. This is why I think Canelo Alvarez is one of the greatest fighters of all time. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, watch this video next, where I break down all the body punches in boxing so you can be able to land them. This is a great video. If you like that one, you'll love this one. Click here and watch this one.